Morning all, my name is Derek Anderson and my family and I attend the warmer morning congregation at Oxygen Life Church in Port Elizabeth. I'm very honoured to be sharing my testimony with you this morning and I trust that it's going to be encouraging to you as much as it's been an encouragement to me once again looking back at my life and just seeing how God has always had his hand over me. So I was born into a very loving family, um, two, had two very devoted parents and my dad was a very good leader a man of impeccable uh, manners and ethics and morals, um, and a real role model to me and my two brothers and my sister, um, which was exceptional because he actually grew up without a dad. His dad was killed in the war, uh, which meant that the government actually sent him to a Catholic school. And he told me stories of terrible things that the Catholic brothers did to him and the other kids in the school. And this skewed his view or his perspective completely on Christianity or anything religious. With the result is we didn't end up going to church at all when we were kids. Um, and I grew up with this kind of idea of God being this vengeful, like this distant deity, just not somebody that I wanted to spend any time with or build any kind of relationship with. Although I grew up in a loving family, um, I always felt like a, a little bit removed from my family. Um, and this stemmed from my brothers and my dad being uh, very technically minded people and I was the creative in the family. Um, and it also birthed in me this kind of need for acceptance and um, striving for um, just to excel and uh, you know just yeah to be feel feel a sense of belonging. Um, which I think also birthed in me quite a competitiveness when I quite a competitive nature when I was young. When I was uh, when I went to school um, from the offset, I got involved with the wrong crowd. Um, I, there were a much older bunch of guys that I started hanging out with. I got involved with things that I should never have been involved in, especially at such a formative age. I remember seeing my first pornographic material when I was like six, or I think six or seven years old. I got involved in drinking. I started drinking when I was probably 10 or 11 years old and um, drugs shortly thereafter. Um, and I always kind of always pushed the envelope just because I needed to kind of, um, yeah, just that, that sense of belonging, um, especially with an older group of guys. Um, my parents really wanted to remove me from this group of guys. So in high school, they wanted me to go to a different school to them. And um, I persisted and eventually ended up going to the same school as these guys. In my first year of high school, I got expelled because they was caught drinking at school. And uh, so this gave my parents a, a good opportunity to get me away from those guys. And um, they put me into a all boys school and a boarding school, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I loved every minute of it. I enjoyed the camaraderie. I enjoyed the sporting aspect of it. Um, yeah, I just I almost thrived there. Um, it was a great time in my life. I went to the army after that and then um, went and I studied graphic design. It was at this stage that I, because of my competitive nature, I got involved in the gym world and I started with competitive bodybuilding and I got involved, very involved in the world of anabolic steroids. Um, and this kind of for a number of years um, carried on. Um, I met my then girlfriend and my now wife, Leslie, at this time, and, and she could see what was going on with me. Um, I was just incredibly aggressive, completely against my nature. Um, I was fiercely jealous, um, just not a nice, actually not a nice person to be around. And she gave me an ultimatum. It was either um, her or the steroids. Um, I loved her dearly, so I decided to can the steroids. And, um, but it was very difficult. I know that you can't get physically addicted, but I certainly was mentally addicted. And for a long time, I really battled with it. It was at this stage that a, a friend of mine invited me to go to church with him. And I went to church and my mind was blown completely. Um, God took away the, the aggression in me, the jealousy. Um, it was almost like a 180 degree turnaround. And um, yeah, so I, yeah, and I'm just, you know, ever since then I've been growing. I haven't always done everything right. Um, it's been an adventure, um, but God has been with me all along. Um, and he still is, and he's still changing me. I firmly believe in, in, in the saying that God loves me too much to give me the way that I am. And he's just, yeah, he's, he's um, changing me every single day, and um, I owe him everything. <laughs>